the left. Coach, uh, why did you guys end up not uh, playing Bradrick in this game? You know, uh, Bradrick got dinged up a little bit in uh, the preparation, so missed out on a lot of the, the work. And, you know, he was ready to go should we need him. And, and yet, really kind of by the end of it, uh, we are going to ride Corey as much as we could. Question on the left hand right front. Wendell Barnhouse, FanRagSports.com. Particularly early in the game, you guys got out on the edge quite a bit, particularly with the jet sweep. First of all, what made that so effective, and was that something that you guys saw that maybe could kind of loosen things up? Yeah, you know, we thought that the way they were uh, going into the game, the way they might fit some of our runs, especially in some of the heavier packages that we were in, that it, uh, it, we might get some out of it, and, and kind of what you said in the question, if not, just be able to threaten, you know, the perimeter to open up maybe some inside runs on it. And I thought, you know, the offense staff did a really nice job of, of kind of prepping our kids and uh, designing the, the runs, you know, things that we did all year, but to, to fit the different, many different looks that Western gave us. And I thought the kids were great in the preparation. And, uh, you know, we, we didn't play a perfect game, but they did a lot of things to give us a chance. And, um, you know, certainly the early, the, the jet sweeps were big. Question on the outside right. Coach Phil Woodall, Amarillo, Texas KPR Radio. After early success with Corey Clement, they kind of shut him down after that uh, first couple of drives. What happened? Well, they did a nice job of adjusting. I think he gave us some some other plays, but it's a good defense and uh, you know well coached with some good players, and and they were going to make some plays, and, and they did. And so I thought, you know, we certainly weren't perfect on you know coming back to him what we had to kind of answered it or counter how to counter their moves. But I thought we did enough adjusting that was that was that was good and, and gave our players a chance. But it's uh you know they're good defense and um, you know I think they did some things to adjust and and that's kind of the fun of the game. Got a question on the outside left and I mean right and then we'll do the middle. Go ahead. Coach Dave Michaels with the North Texas Sports Network Western Michigan threw a little razzle-dazzle in there, a little reverse, but it seems that the discipline of your defense was right there. They stuck with, the, with their men and didn't get kind of confused on it. Talk a little bit about the discipline that you have on your defensive side of the ball. I think you're right on that, and I think the defense staff did a heck of a job preparing our players. And, you know, Western's, their offense, you, you know, and preparing for it, watching their whole season, they can hurt you in a number of different ways, and I thought that – you know, we, we certainly didn't play a perfect game, but guys did play disciplined. And when we didn't uh, make a play, we knew why. You, you know, we had to clean up, whether it's a guy getting into a gap or, or, or you know, finishing a stunt. But I think all year long, our, our, our defense done a nice job of playing. And I think they trust the plan and they trust themselves. And I think what else they do is they trust the guy next to them. So they don't try to overcompensate. And uh, I think he came up with a number of big plays, you know, we got the ball out, but we didn't get any, you know, the, the takeaways other than TJ's pick. And, you know, Western done a nice job, but the guys, I thought guys competed. Question in the middle, Ben. Uh, Coach, kind of, Ben Baby again with the morning news, uh, kind of do a similar question with the run game. Um, do you feel like it was important to establish that run early so Bart would have those windows to pass the ball uh, later on? Because it seemed like they were stacking the box after that first quarter. Yeah, I think that was, you know, we thought that we had some runs that we could get on them, and, and then you want to see how they adjust. And when they do, like you say, add another hat into the box, then you've got to be able to do some things in the passing game or, like we were talking about earlier, you know, whether it's with a jet sweep. But they started doing a nice job of adjusting to it. Um, you know, but it did give, we thought it gave us some other uh, opportunities. And I thought guys, you know, made some plays, you know, that was big. Even the, the last drive, you know, that third down was a big completion. And, uh, even finishing on, the, on, you know, the run by Ram, it uh, took a lot of guys, but they did a nice job of, of kind of countering what we were doing. And, and there was a bit of a chess match going on. Outside left. Wendell Barnhouse, FanRag Sports. Um, Troy, uh, there are not a lot of tight ends in college football that are as effective as he was today. How do you, what are the ways you want to use your tight end? And is he kind of perfect for what you guys try to do? Yeah, I've been really fortunate. We've had a number of really good tight ends. 
uh, at Wisconsin, and and they're all different. But Fuma's got the ability to uh, to be a matchup problem for a number of teams or a number of individuals if you know they're playing a man, and you know he's he's big, he's. Uh, He's skilled, you know, he runs well enough and, and has a great knack to, to separate. And I think the other thing that's important is our, our quarterbacks trust him, you know, so that he's got a big reception radius. And I think he's done a really nice job this year of continuing to develop as a blocker. And, and uh, he was big today. It was, fun, it was fun to see. In the middle right side, the left side. Coach, uh, at the beginning of the season, uh, People were talking about your quarterbacks. Uh, here today, they were 13 out of 14. So a lot of improvement from your quarterbacks uh, from the start of the season to the end. They did. I thought they handled you know, both playing and, and wanted to play them both and did a nice job in the preparation. And uh, you know, 14 attempts isn't a lot, but you know, there were some key third downs in there. And I thought Alex came in and made a heck of a throw to Fulman. And, in the red zone, and you know those two, they work at it, and, and you know they care a ton about this team and, and want to do their part. And you, you really appreciate that as a coach. And uh, it was good to see Bart finish his career here at Wisconsin the way that he did. And, and I'm excited about the growth, you know, that Alex took this year and the steps he can take to to go forward. He's got a lot of football ahead of him, and, and uh, both were important to us all year long, and, and it was uh, certainly that way today, too. Any further questions for Coach? Last chance. Okay, Coach, congratulations on the win, and congratulations on a great season.